Seven blessings to good folk. And to you. Boy, bread, meat and beer, quickly. Oh, God, dear grandfather, I'm starving. A song, Bobby White, or...? I'd rather throw myself down a well. No, no, grandfather. This will be your last chance of heading north. The only music the northerners know is a howling of wolves. <laughs> I'm sorry, my lord. We'll fill up every room. My men can sleep in the stable. As for myself, I don't require a large room. Truly, my lord. We have nothing. Is there nothing I can do to remedy this? You can have my room. Now, there's a clever man. You can manage food, I trust. You're in. Dine with me. Aye, my lord. My lord of Lannister! Might I uh, entertain you while you eat? I can see your father's victory at King's Landing. Nothing would more likely ruin my supper. Lady Stark. What an unexpected pleasure. I was sorry to miss you at Winterfell. Lady Stark. I was still Catelyn Tully the last time I stayed here. You, sir. Is that the black bat of Harrenhal I see embroidered on your coat? It is, my lady. And is Lady Went a true and honest friend to my father, Lord Hoster Tully of River Run? She is. The Red Stallion was always a welcome sight at River Run. My father counts Jonas Bracken amongst his oldest and most loyal bannermen. Our Lord is honoured by his trust. I envy your father all his fine friends, Lady Stark, but I don't quite see the purpose of this. I know your sigil as well. The Twin Towers of Frey. How fares your Lord, sir? Lord Waldo is well, my lady. He has asked your father for the honour of his presence on his 90th name day. He plans to take another wife. Ah. This man came into my house as a guest and there conspired to murder my son, a boy of ten. In the name of King Robert and the good lords you serve, I call upon you to seize him and help me return him to Winterfell to await the king's justice. <laughs> 